I started doing drugs and I was sober as well. I was into marijuana, crystal, and ecstasy pills. It's dangerous. It's South Central. This area is known for all the bad stuff. You just never know you may die. The Jacob Living Foundation is dealing with kids in Title I schools. These were the kids that needed it the most. It's two times a week. It's two hours for the kids got a safe place to go. Keeps me out of the streets and focus on things, keep my life positive. It's being around smart people, people that are motivated to be successful in life. Kids who get depressed are isolated. They'd go home after school, there was nobody home. They'd, they were scared of the gun violence outside on the streets. They'd go to bed, so they isolate. And that isolation fuels depressive symptoms. So now, Just Keep Living creates a safe community of positive mentorship. So you have teachers there and other students trying to better themselves. Just Keep Living provides opportunities for young kids to get off the streets and do something healthy with their lives. The old me is into gangs violence, drugs, you know, I was really, really disrespectful and I've been finding a way to change myself and I'm starting to look for new friends who would encourage me to do the right things and JK living here is where I found everybody, it's like my second family here. Just killing kids, you know, they're anti-drugs. I like, you know, being around people like that, so I just made a smart decision. All you have to do is just look at the kids, they still have a lot of dreams, a lot of hope. It's very inspiring to work with them. Six months clean. Just Keep Living, we set personal goals, whether it's to lose 10 pounds or to lose 2% body fat, or just to feel comfortable wearing shorts. Before JK Living, I never exercised. It wasn't my thing. Without JK Living, I probably would still be at home on my bed, just sitting there, gaining a lot of weight, eating food. With JK Living, it's like, it's so fun. Because you're always laughing, you're always having a great time. And it really taught me that my health is more important than anything. They're learning some exercise, uh, they learn about nutrition. The stuff we learned from when we was at JK, and I taught it to my families at home, and we started to eat better and eat right. I just want them to change a few small habits in ways that they can, in ways that they find are enjoyable to do. I've been working out every day, running about six miles a day, and I have lost 32 pounds so far. It's a catharsis. When you're working out, you're just releasing all that energy. Exercise increases blood flow to the brain. It's increasing all those happy chemicals. Tons of connection between exercise and focus and attention. These kids who need focus and attention in school are getting that extra added benefit from exercising. They just keep living. It's so great. When I work out, I tell myself, okay, do it again, one more set. And then when I'm in class, you know, writing a paragraph, I get frustrated and I, I tell myself, just do it like, you know, like you're working out, like just do it in one more, another paragraph, just do it again. We started what we call a gratitude circle, where all the kids in the after school curriculum get around and have to say one thing they're thankful for. I'm grateful for being given this opportunity and staying fit and in shape. For the opportunity to uh, pursue a college education. The Gratitude Circle helped me know other people because I know what they struggle with and it inspires me to just keep trying. Stuff that you would never expect a person to say, they would say, and it's like so awesome, like the toughest football players would be so deep. And I'm like, what? I didn't expect that. It makes us closer as a school classmates, but also as like a family. If you've ever been in one of those gratitude circles and you see what happens, everybody's heart is warm because when you go around and say what you're grateful for, there's incredible mental health benefits to that. The gratitude circle has helped me understand and appreciate what I often take for granted. Meeting new people with this program was awesome. My circle became bigger. We've been pushing these kids now into their own community service. So where we're providing a service or in place for the kids, we're also saying, hey, you're accountable. Let's get you out in the community and you start giving back. First, they give us a lesson about why should we keep our community clean. And we also clean up the beaches. We go to the food banks. We pack food for people in need. 
helps me give back to the community, you know? It's not just about me. I want to reach out and help others, too. I think the part that warms my heart most about Just Keep Living is the giving back part. I think it's so magnificent because it creates dignity for these kids. When you do acts of kindness, you raise your serotonin, you also improve your immune function, which is incredible. So the act of giving is physically good for you. So we've had some come forward and say, you know what, I was, I was, I was hanging out with the wrong crowd. Now I'm doing this. Thank you, it's a good safe place for me to come. Every time we ask them, when we say, uh, what can we do better? What can we change? The overriding answer is, can we have the program more days than just twice a week? It makes me feel like I can accomplish anything, I can do anything, as long as I put my mind to it.